。ディルリルル、ディルルルルル、ディルリルル。Hey there, everybody. My name is Steve Kozniewski, and you are watching another episode of Cause and Effect. Today's episode comes as a request from a good friend of ours, which is Nev Murray of Confessions of a Reviewer.、Uh, Nev was having some trouble putting、uh, links onto Facebook and having the pictures within the link show up. So, hopefully, this is going to be a real brief,、uh, relatively painless、uh, video today because it's, it's fairly simple,、um, but it does, you know, it does need to be shown, so that's why we're making a video. So, I'm going to come over here to Facebook, and、uh, I did truncate this a little bit、uh, just so you can't see what's going on over here with all my friends and that kind of thing. But、uh, basically, this is what my. Author page looks like pretty similar to if you have a personal account, but this is my business account. And,、uh, you know, this is my wall, and you're all pretty much familiar with this. And if you have a business account, you're, you're of course, 100% familiar with this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and take a link from my blog and post it to Facebook and hopefully get one of the pictures that was on the blog to show up. So, the first thing I did was、uh, okay, so first of all, this might be tripping you up, but if you just go to your blog and you just try to share the link, obviously that's the link to your blog in general, and as it updates, You know, it's not going to be showing the initial post that you wanted to show. So, the first thing that I did was I clicked on the actual post that I want to share, which in this case is going to be my interview with our good friend、uh, Sharon Stevenson. Or I could go back into the past and grab, you know, one of these interviews or, you know, something from last month. So, I'm actually going to make sure to click on that link here. And now you see that the URL is now filled out with more than just my blog. It's got you know, a date and a you know, full URL. This is probably all pretty basic for you. Now, if you go down through this post here, you see there's a couple of pictures. I have the Women in Horror Month logo. Here's a headshot of Sharon. And a,、uh, a picture of the cover of her novel, Raised. So, as usual,、uh, you know, we're just going to copy her, the、uh, URL here, which you can either do with a Control C or a right click and a copy. And we go back to my Facebook page and you go down to where it's telling me to write something. Now, if I can get this to work the first time,、uh, if not, you may hear a brief cut. But、uh, what I'm hoping will happen is what often happens, which is that it will populate a link. Without the picture, and then I'll show you how to go ahead and get a picture in. So, all I'm doing here is hitting Control V or、uh, left click paste. Now, when you paste that URL in there, you see it's working here a little bit. Ah, perfect. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay.、Um, now, what, what's happening here, what you're looking at, is that it's, it's aware that I have a link. Okay, so if I can go ahead and delete this URL. Okay.、Um, now, this here. Is that Facebook is aware that I have a link that I'm trying to share. And if I shared it right now, it would come out blank, just like this, which is really not ideal because what you really want is you really want to have a picture here because people tend to click on pictures. And、uh, in fact, one of the recent changes in Facebook is that it will give you a choice of multiple pictures. So you remember when I showed you here, on, you know, I, there's the logo, there's the headshot, there's the cover. Um, typically, Facebook will give you a, a series of pictures to choose from. So, now what we're going to do, real simple、uh, fix for this, and、uh, you know, hopefully this will help out Nev and any of you that are having issues with it. So, what I'm going to do is instead of posting this blank link, which nobody's going to click on because who would click on a blank link,、um, we're just going to go ahead and refresh the page, which you can do either by hitting Control R. Or depending on your browser, you may have a refresh button up here, or you can click in the URL and hit return, and it'll say something like, Oh, you haven't, you haven't finished your post. Well, why are you leaving? Yeah, I'm leaving because I'm trying to refresh it. Okay? So now, what I think is important about this is that I put it in once and then took it out, and then now I'm just going to put it in again. 
So I'm not a computer scientist or anything like that, but I think what happens is the first time it, it fails to recognize the pictures because, for one thing, this is a brand new post. Usually it doesn't happen to me with older posts, but I just posted this today, which was why I assumed it was going to have the bug. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that same link back in here. And if I'm lucky, it's going to do what I hope it's going to do. Ah, and it did. Now it's going to populate with a certain random number of images from this post. And that's going to include things like my, you know, header up here and, uh, you know, certain other pictures that happen to be in the post here. Um, so if we take a look at it, it's not ideal because it is random, but I do now have a couple of pictures here. This is blank, and this is like uh, the email, the little tiny email thing here. So that's not ideal. But we can go ahead and post with this picture here, which is of my header. Now, the other thing you can do is, if, if you don't like any of the pictures that did come up, um, you can add your own. So we'll go ahead and, and delete the initial uh, URL as we did originally. Okay, so we didn't like any of these pictures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck that last one. Now what we can do here is we're just going to grab a picture that we like. Let's say Sharon's headshot here and move it over to the desktop. And then what we can do is add a picture and grab the shot from there and now we have something that looks like it's actually you know an interview with Sharon Stevenson and we can go ahead and post that um, so it, even if your initial pull does not contain the actual image that you want you can always add it in there I know that's a little bit of a pain in the ass um, you know but uh, that's basically how you can add pictures to make sure that your links are not, you know, just blank and ugly. Um, so let's try one more time and make sure that uh, it isn't just an issue that Nev's having. And since we're doing this for him, we'll go ahead and do it with his latest post. Again, I'm grabbing the actual URL for the actual interview that I want to post and refreshing and we'll pop that Earl in there oh and all the pictures came up so again you see this is a random assemblage of the pictures this one's blank that's a pencil here's the interviewee here's the cover so it looks like um, this may be a couple days old no it was posted today today's as I'm recording this is Monday February 8th 2016 and yeah there's the picture of uh, David Dubrow and everybody else and uh, that's pretty much how you can get pictures to appear in your post and uh, even if you even if you can't uh, get the ones that you want in your initial pull you can always force the one that you want by using this plus sign here so hopefully it's been helpful and uh, if it's not, uh, just leave me a comment or a question or send me an email. Or since I'm probably going to send this to Nev directly, <laughs> just let me know on Facebook. So thanks for tuning in, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time.